Looking for a delicious chicken fried steak? You don't have to be riding the gravy train to enjoy such a decadent dish. However, not all of these chains serve up meals that are sure to please. Going by the description on the menu, Texas Roadhouse's country fried sirloin should be delicious. The item is said to be a crispy coated sirloin steak drenched in gravy and joined by a couple of side entrees. But the sad reality is that it lags behind for customers overall. Places like Texas Roadhouse don't bluff on the monstrously huge portions, which at least validate the cost. But the cutlet overwhelmingly tastes like oily, bland breading and has lots of fatty chunks. This soured the meal for many reviewers. One TripAdvisor user wrote, The country fried steak was very tough and full of gristle and fat. Another reviewer shared the same experience, with the premise of avoiding the entree outright, vowing after the lackluster meal to quote, order something with visible meat to rectify the mistake. When I'm hungry for the great steak of Texas, I always go to the Texas Roadhouse. A Texas-based chop house hawking Angus-grade beef that's pounded thin and buried in a cream-based gravy, Saltgrass Steakhouse should have clobbered the competition. But as it turns out, with flavorless breading and dry beef, the chain's country fried steak fails to impress. There was one TripAdvisor review that appeared to be in the minority, describing a remarkable cutlet that was crisp and well-dressed without getting soggy from the moisture. This is in stark contrast to another review, which described a lackluster slab without any flavor. The Lone Star franchise might bring the sizzle with the ingredients, but it doesn't dish up the country fried steak, at least one worth eating. Also, you're only allowed one side dish, while similarly comfort-centric places heap on two or three helpings. Logan's Roadhouse claims that its country fried steak is prepared from scratch, heaping on white gravy and adding two entrees on the side. It's very reasonably priced, and a few commenters were definitely in awe over the gigantic portions. However, less impressed reviewers had a bone to pick with the poor presentation. For example, a visitor whose spouse ordered the entree described the meat steak as pretty cafeteria-ish. Generally speaking, getting bang for your buck is one of the draws to dining out at franchises. But it's not like Logan's has the monopoly on breaded beef patties served on a budget. If you're looking for an affordable option, there are plenty of other chains out there that do it right. IHOP's served up chicken fried steak for quite some time, saddling breaded patties with hash browns, eggs, and its signature flapjacks for a morning-approved spin. Yet, as recently as September 2023, the breakfast chain added a savory counterpart to round out the chain's lunch and dinner sections. It's unclear whether the recent iteration is here to stay, but what we do know for a fact is how diners feel about the gravy-smothered staple. Under the roof of this national institution, it's a mixed bag. One diner praised the battered cutlet as an excellent pick among many tasty dishes on the menu lineup, while another patron witnessed a far less appetizing version. They stated on TripAdvisor, My son ordered the country fried steak and it came soaked in a water-like gravy. Because the cream sauce was so diluted, what should have been a crunchy filet turned into a soggy sponge. It's a toss-up, honestly, so proceed with caution. There's always a way to put a smile on your plate. Shoney's is heralded for its all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet, but sleepyheads rolling out of bed later in the day can opt for American classics such as burgers, sandwiches, and comforting casseroles. Unsurprisingly, this section of the restaurant is where the country fried steak lurks. According to the menu, the thin meats are coated with the chain's signature seasoned flour prior to frying. There's also a country fried steak breakfast that allows you to customize the ultimate platter with your preferred style of eggs and potatoes, along with extras like fresh fruit or grits. As many customers expressed, the overall incentive for ordering this country fried steak was its convenience. On the flip side of the equation, plenty were put off by the filet's sludgy appearance and liquefied gravy. But it's not just the steak that disappoints. One TripAdvisor user remarked, The steak was pretty good, but the gravy and mashed potatoes were horrible. It's fine for what it is, but there are tons of superior options out there. Breaded and fried by hand, you'll definitely score a feast that's tasty and decently priced when you order the country fried steak at Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. The platter features the main entree, two sides out of 16 options to choose from, and buttery Texas toast. The reviews aren't ideal if nabbing a completely exceptional meal takes precedence over convenience. One customer encountered, quote, 90% breading when they received their plate. And this was directly echoed by another patron who snapped a photo of their heavily coated beef link. They confirmed on TripAdvisor, the country fried steak was overbattered. When any hint of hearty meat did come through, as a particular Yelp reviewer experienced, the texture proved to be anything but tender, unfortunately. The steak was tougher than a Walmart round steak and had about as much flavor. The crispy coating makes chicken fried steak a delectable indulgence, but it shouldn't overpower the meat. This is especially true when, according to customers, it's a bit bland and under-seasoned. 
Sawmill gravy, a less refined style of gravy that's traditionally made from meat drippings and cornmeal, tops the country fried steak at Cracker Barrel. And for the more ambitious early birds in our midst, Grandpa's Country Fried Breakfast boasts eggs and hash brown casserole, plus a big ol' biscuit. Business Insider found Cracker Barrel to be a step up in richness and authenticity, and internet consensus backs this up for the most part. Many report devouring a freshly cooked chicken fried steak, and if you know anything about Cracker Barrel, it's the sides that keep devotees coming back for seconds. And yet, a couple of reviews that have strayed from the morning lineup have actually regretted their choice. One visitor vowed on TripAdvisor, in the future, we'll stick with breakfast, dumplings, and veggies slash sides. When a user trashed the dish on the chain subreddit, an employee chimed in to recommend the fried chicken in place of the chickenless slab. Their reasoning? The kitchen constantly cranks out batches of chicken as a result of high demand, not to mention their battered to order, which prevents soggier pieces. As they admitted, country fried steak is one of the last things I'd suggest to anyone. Paired with a trifecta of eggs, potatoes, and your preferred type of carb that can include pancakes, the country fried steak and eggs at Denny's is predictably calorie dense. Those who've eaten their fair share of chain cuisine can attest that it is not exactly the pinnacle of fine dining. But that doesn't make a difference here. This is the stuff greasy spoons are made of. A customer dining out with their spouse reported that their partner's fried cut was very juicy, while an equally pleased patron voiced no complaints about the greasy, gravy-drenched bite. They wrote on TripAdvisor, I wanted chicken fried steak, and I wasn't disappointed. With that said, there's no doubt establishments like Denny's take shortcuts to slap food on the table faster. For example, one TripAdvisor reviewer wrote, I literally watched the guy in the kitchen microwave my entire meal of broccoli and chicken fried steak. Seeking out homestyle cooking, served and enjoyed in a familial atmosphere, hunting for a hearty dish like chicken fried steak will make you feel grateful for Bob Evans. Generally, feedback is pretty favorable towards the country fried steak platter. The extras that join the breaded course, green beans, mashed spuds, and a smooth white gravy one review hailed as excellent point to a solid plateful for chowing all the way down. Since breakfast is what Bob Evans is known for, there's naturally a wake-up plate that pairs eggs, potatoes, and pillowy biscuits versus fries or a side salad. However you order it, patrons explain why it's worth picking up. The breakfast version, specifically, pleased one customer on Yelp, who raved over the super crispy breading and the hearty labeling of gravy. Another fan on TripAdvisor awarded their delicious deep-fried cutlet five stars, finding it faithful to the sort of country image promoted by the eatery. You won't go hungry at Bob Evans. Won't go broke either. Perkins Restaurant and Bakery is an established diner institution out of Ohio. Opened in 1958, the eatery's first gig as a mom and pop was flipping griddle cakes. Travel to the present day, and you'll see a plethora of breakfasts and suppers punctuated by tantalizing pies proudly baked the old-fashioned way. It appears that doggy bagging your dessert is to be expected, as the country fried steak is decadent and downright enormous. Don't brush it off as dinner only. Here, patrons can carve into one at sunrise as well, affixed with a sampler of eggs, hash browns, and pancakes. For the most part, customers were delighted by the fair price considering how much you get. The solid execution, commented on by other visitors, undoubtedly contributed to the Perkins' high score. A Yelp user, for example, admitted that, while the entree wasn't going to beat any real deal Southern Kitchen, the portion and plentiful sides were a notable advantage. They added, it was cooked and served the way it is supposed to be. Who could ask for more than that? Contrary to the flattened appearance that traditionally defines the chicken fried steak, customers rave that claim jumper cleaves a much chunkier slab. It's a messy, gravy-smothered adventure for any large appetite. Yet this battered beefsteak remains crunchy and succulent. One commenter on Yelp assured, The country fried steak was not a lean patty tenderized to death. It was a thick cut, not for the faint of heart. Another patron was in heaven over the cutlet being so tender you cut it with a fork. With roasted veggies and the creamiest spuds, this dish is a great purchase for a hearty rendition that will stick to the ribs. Hot plates like chicken fried steak scratch the itch best when slightly sloppy, and Twin Peaks nails this execution. Though it's not generally considered to be a bargain, the sports bar's plate manages to be worth the higher expense. The patties in question, your choice of chicken or beef, are not only freshly battered, but they're also anchored by some spectacular flourishes. For example, the silky gravy is boosted with fiery jalapeno, as opposed to simply black pepper. Suffice it to say, restaurant goers have found the chicken fried steak to be surprisingly excellent. It bears lots of flavor and portions that might be considered comically excessive. This undoubtedly explains the price printed on the menu. A Yelp reviewer raved, I am a big eater and could only finish half. 
But size isn't the only factor on its side. The indulgent elements pep up the plainer cut of beef, but without skipping a beat, the cutlet's texture remains tender and able to ride out the piquancy delivered by the seasoned breading and add-ons alike. This is one of the best. Black Bear Diners quieted growling tummies for nearly 30 years, slinging the biggest breakfast spectacles made for Sunday brunching or curing hangovers alike. The fact that there are three different versions of the chicken fried steak, each more delicious than the last, should dispel any myths that chains can't confidently batter a beef cutlet. The Bigfoot chicken fried steak and eggs is a proper gorge fest and the most extreme in terms of its calorie count, but other options include a basic morning sampler with eggs and biscuits and a hearty spin on Eggs Benedict that subs the ham for breaded beefsteak. It's a shame Black Bear Diner is only in the Midwest and on the West Coast. Quite frankly, this fried steak slams its competition nationwide, as many positive responses pouring in suggest. The hefty size makes it a knife and fork deal, of course, but foodies will be pleased by the slab's succulence that resembles, without exaggeration, a very good piece of fried chicken. The breaded shell is airy and well-seasoned, and the meat, according to one reviewer on Yelp, is perfectly tender. They added, nice and crisp on the outside and scrumptiously moist on the inside. Add in the wholesome gravy and a cup of strong black coffee, and you've got an irresistible meal.